Hi everyone, welcome to our Marine Knowledge channel. This is your Sailor Pasha. Again, today one uh, technical video, which will be very important, uh, very useful for uh, fourth engineers and junior engineers and uh, cadets, engine cadets, and also for uh, general crew. So, uh, in this video, I would like to give some information about uh, main air compressor maintenance always uh, there will be a cooler in some water cooled water type cooler you know we have uh, in some compressors and some are uh, air cooled so here uh, we are uh, going to do cooler cleaning for compressor so usually uh, every time whenever you do any maintenance please go through your instruction manual even though if you know the job there may be some things that maker can highlight which is not uh, uh, known for us so you have to always go through the manual if there is any latest uh, uh, updates you have to check that also so uh, as i say always uh, use proper ppe my channel don't uh, support any job which is carried out without wearing proper ppe if there is any video without PPE, that doesn't mean we are supporting it. We are not supporting it. Sometimes some, and we are really very sorry if some videos comes without any proper PPE. And uh, for uh, okay, coming back to main air uh, compressor, this compressor cooler when it get leaks, what happens is uh, the high pressure air is always uh, tends to go through the cooler uh, out so you may get air mixture in the cooling water system so that means you have to you may get water pressure low in the entire system due to your uh, air is going through the cooler when compressor is running so it is very obvious that you need to do proper cleaning of cooler as per the maintenance schedule you have to do proper cleaning if not that uh, cooler will end up in having a pinhole or crack in the tubes so to avoid that do always proper maintenance so do proper precaution what is that precaution do not start boot breaker off um, some compressor have non written valve flap type which you don't have any valve to close some have the valve to close so you have to close it drain the air drain the water and then you start doing the job so now uh, we are going to open and clean a cooler water cooled cooler means what air air will be cooled by water type means tube cooler and <laughs> This is the main air compressor which we are going to do the cooler cleaning. So as usual take the safety precautions. So always ensure one compressor is always standby good working condition then you go for maintenance of the other main air compressor. So what uh, we do now is we are going to open the cooler side to do the cleaning of tubes so first we have to open the pipe connection between the cooler that is a air connection so that uh, we are removing so our junior engineer and fourth engineer are removing the pipes so as I said earlier ensure you are draining all the air so after draining the air then you can start opening the pipes so yeah 
because we are opening slowly because in order uh, like if there is any leftover air so it will drain by itself so air pipes are opened then you open any other connection which is in the cover this is the air cooler uh, cover and we are removing the connection this is the drain pipe which we are removing and uh, okay it's already removed okay now we need to take out uh, remove all the allen bolts of the cover just put a marking on top of the cover and the body and you can start opening it always ensure you are using proper tools for opening the bolts so in this case we have around uh, 10 or 9 bolts yeah i think uh, uh, around 11 bolts we have so you have to open all the bolts so our third engineer is working on it and uh, yeah we have removed all the bolts just tap it keep a bolt uh, there in order to ensure if there is any water left over let it drain so now all water are gone now we are removing the cooler cover so now you can see the condition of the cooler tubes all are uh, little dirty and also carry over of uh, traces of oil and everything so first check uh, fit water like uh, just fill water and ensure all tubes are okay so once all tubes are okay there is no choke no carbon deposit inside the line then you can start using brush and clean the tubes so you have to use uh, brass brush so this is how you have to clean so clean all the tubes properly so that uh, you will get more efficient heat transfer if there is no any deposit on over the tubes the heat transfer will be fantastic so gasket is already renewed so this is how you have to clean the cooler so after cleaning the cooler always don't forget to change the gasket we renewed the gasket and both the side got different gasket and all the bolts should be buffed and use copper slip or molly coat whichever you are having on board and that's all we are almost done with the job put back the cover in place both the cover ensure your uh, gasket is not getting slip from area so that uh, okay tightening is happening so both the bolts are in place once the bolts are in place then you can fit back the remaining bolts and tighten it watching this video you must have got some idea about how to do the cleaning of air compressor cooler if you have any doubt please directly message to my whatsapp because due to restriction in uh, available on board wi-fi data i cannot be able to reply you in uh, comment section so please if you have any doubt you can send direct message to me to my whatsapp number if i have any doubt i can refer and clear your doubt thank you all keep supporting